Hey, this is Zihar from myhexel.com. Today is the third part of uh, implementing the GUI app on Android. And, uh, I decided to go with the canvas approach as uh, it could be the pre lollipop solution. And uh, that's the uh, left one is the canvas one from today. And uh, what I want to have is uh, for this view to be as a, as a customizable library. That's why I created, uh, started creating some custom attributes like uh, number of uh, small fabs and uh, icons from a resource array so that anybody can customize it. It got uh, more complex than the AVD solution. So let's uh, go through some code in here. First of all, I decided to make it as a linear layout for the parent, which holds all the fabs, because it's uh, very easy to add new views and uh, the size is gonna be adjustable to adjust the size of all the child uh, fabs. You just add it with the index of zero and it's gonna add uh, to the top of the list. And the fabs itself is a different view. The drawing is going uh, with the canvas in here. And I implemented the shadow elevation which I just took from the floating action button code copied it. It's uh, still it's not a pre lollipop. Also code in here and just a few things that I wanted to recap is uh, first is that when you wrap if you try to wrap uh, your any floating action button with the layout which just the shadow is gonna be cropped. That's why you need to give your button some room for shadow to draw you wrap it with the layout or you can give your layout some padding and uh, set clip to padding to false like I did in here that's way easier ripple we covered in the previous post how to draw a custom shape ripple effect also recap is just uh, custom outline of the view. It's just a custom outline of the view which is uh, set by the background. This is the ripple which I set as a overlay for buttons. And the background is circle, just a transparent circle with the foreground and uh, using clip to outbounds true clips the ripple to the background shape which is gonna be circle ripple on the mini fab as well shadows there as well the only thing remaining is uh, implementing nice animation for like multiple fabs mini fabs as you see I created the attribute you already can customize it, but the animation is uh, not that great yet for multiple fabs. On draw method, it's uh, still complex. I should uh, refactor that. One thing that surprised me was uh, drawing uh, two arcs, which I thought uh, to use as the solution, or like top and bottom arc, and translating them, because the gap between the arcs sometimes which is horrible and uh, I tried to use anti-aliasing but it didn't help that's why I decided to stick back with the circle background and the top arc here you can tell it by the sweep angle this is a 180 degrees arc and this is the and that's the circle background which is static and the arc is uh, getting the GUI animation stuff appearance. 
the rest of the stuff is just uh, some basic custom view code like setting up uh, attributes paint uh, still too complex to understand uh, right away and uh, I need to refactor that for sure but for now that's it there is still so much to do in here but okay thanks for watching subscribe to my blog and take care